I'm Mr. Lysak, and this morning I am really excited. I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm really ex excited because see that's how excited I am because I finally made it to the Selwood Bridge boat ramp where there is a rumor. That's right. There's a rumor that there's not one, not two, but 15 cars in the river here is what I've been told. I did my research and back in 2012, the cops came and pulled out two cars and left six cars in the river is what I've been told according to the article. So, fingers crossed, wish me luck. We're going diving in the Willam River up here in Portland today. Why did they close the boat ramp? Maybe they just uh, had too many cars dumped in the river here. Who knows? Let's go find out. One of the locals, John, just got done talking to us about the river and this boat ramp here. What John said, back in 94, they took 27 cars out of the river here. The sheriffs took another two cars out in 2012 and nobody evidently has searched that out of the boat ramp since 2012. So, you just might see another video coming up where we're gonna be over there. Before we jump into the water though, I wanna give a big shout out to Paralens, who is my new sponsor. The amazing thing about these cameras and the big reason why I really wanted to get these, check out as soon as the video starts and I'm underwater, you now get to see how deep am I and what the water temperature is. Does it get any better than that, Kiara? I really don't think it does. We gotta do a little bit of testing to make sure I get this angle right. So let's jump in the water, test the angle, check it out on our little phone app here, make sure it's everything we need, and then we're gonna go for that real dive. This is already a good dive. We gotta test out the camera, make sure it's angled right, but look at that. Already got me a MacBook Pro keyboard. Woo! Do you see how it skipped? Yeah. But look at this, I also found a silver platter. That's right, silver platter! So what's nice about this Paralens camera, watch this, it just has a nice big button. I just hold it back, it vibrates so I know it stops recording. And now, I'm going to hook it up to my phone. Dive log and media. This is the first time I've actually used this. So we're gonna see if it works. Looks like I went down 17 feet. Oh wow. Oh, oh, there's, okay, here we go, look at that. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. So let's go when I'm underwater. I want to see if the angle of it is right. We need to turn it up or down. Like when my hands are reaching out is what I'm looking for. Oh, that's really, that's actually a kind of a good angle on there. Here, I'll, I'll go sideways and bigger. And then I, I found that silver platter like right off the bat. Like check it out, here it is right here. Silver platter. Beautiful angle. I don't think I, I think I got the angle pretty good on that, don't you? It's good. I got enough information to make a uh, incredible informed decision as to how to better situate this camera. So, so far I'm really impressed with it, Kiara. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Okay, that's my new angle. Looks good. Let's go test it out. Now that we are powered by Paralens, we're gonna make even better videos for everybody to enjoy. Go! On that note, see you later! Oh. <laughs> 
guy may be right there may not be any cars in the river here but this is definitely a hotbed for dog toys I have never seen a jack shaped dog toy before of you no that's pretty cool I do I like nice it we should design. take that home for a uh, Kaylin Pat's dogs so far though I'm really enjoying this little dive location I can't wait for the uh, the other five dives that we're gonna do up here in Portland and the current's not bad here either like Griffin was worried, Mom was worried. There's absolutely nothing to worry about here. Like if I didn't know any better, I would have thought I'm in a lake right now. See you in a bit.
different dive over here, Kiara. It's been a lot of fun. And I got enough air to finish back off to where you and mom are at. And, uh-oh, I broke that one. You know what, that's what I get for putting, oh. That was like a really cool old glass vase that I uh, completely destroyed. But look how cool that is. And it was even cooler before I broke it. In my defense though, it already had a, it was already broken. I got lots of air. I got lots of air in my suit. All right, now we'll try it. We need is like 3,714 more pieces and we will have ourselves a whole car. And I got found a couple of tools today, including a hammer. Warning, wear safety goggles. Well, it just so happens that I actually found me some safety goggles so I can use my new hammer. Oh, did I tell you I found a purse or a bag or something? There's there's something inside of there. I didn't open it up, but how did those get back in the water? The boat's going by. Well, you, you didn't run after them? That must have been a big wave. Oh crap, I just broke my mirror too. That's not a surprise. Whoa. You break a lot of things, don't you, Mr. Liza? <laughs> I kind of wanted to keep that. That was actually kind of cool i guess if there's one thing you guys continue to learn about me is you're super clumsy well not just clumsy but loud well, not, not just loud but things like broken stuff tends to happen everywhere i go are you ready for my finds kiera uh-huh let me show you everything that i got and at the end of this i'm gonna make everybody wait till the very end to open up this pouch to see what's inside of that little guy. Looks like you got some new stuff and some old stuff. <laughs> Good mix. Uh, it's a beautiful mix. Like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm like really happy with it. We ended up with glass bottles like we always do. Some of them I broke. Also ended up with a old grinder wheel. That dog toy that we already spoke of. And I think this is from the 50s or 60s. I think it's like the old uh, perfume bottles, but I'm not quite sure. Plus, I found a nice old phone. Some of you have never even seen a phone like this one before. Anyway, that's what phones used to look like. Talk My, about that wheel right there. Oh, we'll get to the. We're gonna get to the wheel, oh. and we're gonna get to that pouch. I think that this one is like the, um, like they put them up on like sidewalk closed. So they boop, sidewalk closed, don't oh. go this way. We have ourselves a new tape measure. Should you want to measure the distance of anything, Kiera? However, it's not coming out of there. So I don't think that works anymore. If I need an underwater flashlight, that little guy would not be the one for the job today. Should I need to fix anything today, I've got myself a nice new wrench as well as that hammer we spoke of earlier. And whenever you're working on something, safety first, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So I have my choice of two pairs of safety glasses today. Now, why are there so many safety glasses underneath the bridge? Well, this bridge is the newer bridge that they put in recently and therefore i gotta say the construction workers lost 
their safety glasses to what happened. I usually don't get excited about bottles, but today I got the Royal Flush Beverage. We're gonna have to do some research on that one and actually. It's a cool bottle. Find out the history on that one. It says Albert's. I don't know. Albert, oh, Albert's Products. Products, products, oh, Albert's Products Company, Portland, Oregon. So that little guy, I don't, I don't even know the year on that one, so we're gonna have to do some research on, on that one. The Royal Flush, Royal Flush! Which, by the way, I played a lot of poker and I have never, ever, in the history of my career of playing poker, had a Royal Flush, till now, there it is. It's a cool bottle. It is a really cool bottle. The other cool bottle that I got today, also, I've never seen one with a little riggedy riggedy, you know, on there. But that one's a really cool one too. Yeah. If anybody is a 7-Up fan, I also found an old 7-Up bottle. Oh, it's green. I thought, I thought it was like blue for a minute. That's an old 7-Up bottle. If anybody wants to paint their room later on, hit me up and I will run right over and we will do everything we can to get your paint to to get your paint, to get to, to get the paint on your room, all right? I also, I keep saying I also. Also, I also, 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 found an old cassette player. This goes in the car, so this is like an old radio inside of cars, what that is. More dog toys, more bottles. That MacBook Pro keyboard, I don't know where the rest of it is, but somebody definitely disposed of that evidence. An old wheel. This one, we're gonna have to do some research on. Or if anybody knows, comment below, what era do you think that's from? Kristen, that one's going in your garden. How are we gonna fit that with all the luggage in the car? Yeah. We're gonna be very limited with what we take home this week. I gotta find out if this is real silver or not. How do you tell if it's real silver? Um, yeah, if you can bend it, it's probably not real. And that brings us to our final item of the dive. Which is going to be this bag here, Kiara? If there's actually anything in it, maybe a few coins. There is definitely something in there. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of glad I'm wearing gloves. We might have to rinse this out up the water's edge. It looks Let's gross see. in there. It, it does look really gross, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, what is that going to be, Kiara? Um, so we have... Huh. A spoon? So far we have a... Oh. We have a wrench, a wrench so far. I, <laughs> wow, Kristen doesn't seem impressed with any of this. Honey, why are you not impressed? It's garbage. No, no, there might be something. Ooh, ooh, there's something else in here. Okay, what is this, Kiara? We have? Some other tool. Oh, look at that. More tools, that's right. A hex set. So it's a tool pouch. Well, you know, this does go on the back of a bicycle, so. Tools for their bike. Tools, yeah, like mom said, tools for the bike. But there could be an old wallet in here too, or money that's floating around. So let's be very careful with this and see what else we might have. Oh, I feel something else down here. All right, what else have we got, Kia? More tools. Well, I'm hoping there's gonna be money. All right, we have some garbage. We have, I have no idea. Kind of looks like a carabiner. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah, the not quite thing? sure. Let me see if there's anything else. And I don't feel anything else in there. One of these days, Kiara, I promise you, one of these days, we're gonna find a bag full of money. We will continue our hunt. So in the meantime, what I need you to do, check out paralens.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe. That way you get an instant notice anytime we upload another video just like this one when you turn on that little bell notification. That's it for now. Later, later, bye-bye. Down. Do, 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 do,